Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. I brought two lovely ladies with me to um, entertain you while I die in the corner. <laughs> I'm just, a, I don't feel too bad. I don't have a headache and I don't really feel sick, but I just don't feel good, you know? <laughs> Not a hundred percent. I feel like that's so unfair. I had nothing to drink, and I feel sick and have a headache. <laughs> you, you took you took the hangover symptoms from me. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I had um oh my god, I caused a, mi- a minor car crash this morning getting a bacon sandwich, which wasn't my fault. Okay, so like I went to Ashley. will know what I mean. You know, like where the river is near the train station. Mm-hmm. There's like a cafe there and it's like it's a very greasy cafe. It's the kind of place that everyone's there on a Sunday morning because everyone's hungover. So I went and got a bacon and mushroom sandwich and I was coming back and I crossed the zebra crossing and a camper van stopped to let me cross and then a motorbike came around the corner, didn't stop in time and went into the back of the van. And the guy, it wasn't like a major thing or anything. Like the guy's bike just fell over. Like he didn't even fall over. He was really pissed off about it, but the van didn't even notice. And I was like, okay, cool. Oh. Wow. <laughs> but I did get my, my bacon and mushroom sandwich was good. It's the only time that me and Brie have perked up all morning. Nice. Well, my, I've had a pretty chill morning. I went and got coffee, put in a cinnamon bun, went for a walk. Now I'm here. <laughs> nice. How are you, G? What have you been up to? Nothing super exciting. Woke up, head hurt, took a bunch of medicine, didn't work. Now here I am. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um, oh, cinnamon flavored American pancakes. That's nice. Nice. What's everyone reading slash doing today? Oh, secret history. Okay. I am annotating it, so you guys, depending on your opinion, will either find it satisfying or um, absolutely outrageous that I am writing in pen in my book. I'm not against it when you have, like, you've got, like, a beat up paperback copy. Mm. Like, if it was, like, a fairy loot book, I'd be like, get out. (laughs) But, like, beat up paperbacks. (laughs) Fine. I didn't specifically buy this one so that I could wreck it, basically. <laughs> is, uh, I like it. I think it makes it um, more yours, you know? Yeah. Loved. Mm-hmm. I will, for the first sprint, be doing, like, vlog updates and stuff because I have not been doing that. But, yeah. Yeah, well, the last vlog update I did, I was sorry. I'll probably be doing some design stuff, but at some point I would love to get a bit more reading done. I literally have done nothing reading wise September. Um, the only reading that I've done, apart from like a tiny bit afterwards, was in your Patreon sprints. <laughs> so I'm literally just still in Red Rising. Um, I I also haven't been doing much reading in September. I've only finished one book. Um and I am good. How far in I'm 284 pages into this as well. But this is very slow. Good, but like just slow because it's Robin Hood. I need to power through that next week. Like that is from tomorrow the aim. <laughs> it's so that is good. a tough read for a readathon. <laughs> it's a tough read for a hangover as well. But we we gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really scared because I've not been doing too hot recently and I I swear to god there's always one book in every single like sub-series of hot books that gives me depression <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure it's going to be this one and I'm like am I just going to end well, up what depression is <laughs> it's fine so far it's not sad so far so like you've got the beginning bit where you'll be fine but like I, I can't speak for the end I don't imagine it's going to be good at the end but right now it's fine <laughs> 600 pages so uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be too comforted yet <laughs> been awake since 6 in the morning because of the cat now my Sunday feels like 2 days going to read The Invisible Girl or listen to Traitor's Blade nice 
Um, I'm up early. Oh, I was up early because Curtis was going out because he was sober because he had to drive yesterday. All right, Bray. It's just a little, I don't know if you heard that. She grumbled. Um, but yeah, he woke me up at half past eight because when he gets up, he has to get all of the animals up because him being awake wakes everyone up. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I had to get out of bed. I love that it's like all of the animals you have to. <laughs> I know, but it feels like I've got many more. <laughs> I was going to say they've both got uh, quite the personality, so feels like you have five. Ham's fine this morning. I haven't seen much of him apart from when I've fed him, but um, Brie is also either just, she's either just knackered or hungover, but she ate a lot of stuff that she shouldn't have eaten last night because she was just stealing food. <laughs> Um, and then rolling in flower beds, she brought one of her dad's. Sounds like she had a great time. <laughs> yeah, she did have a good time. I would like to steal food and roll around in flower beds. <laughs> As a prime activity. <laughs> Dracula Mind in Wheel of Time, book six. Oof. Dedication. Oh, somebody asked earlier how long we're sprinting for. I was aiming to go until about 5 p.m. UK, but I mean, I feel all right, so I should be fine. But just so you know, like, I'm a bit rough. <laughs> I'm aiming for five. <laughs> Puppy power. I was concerned this morning because she's not as bouncy as she normally is and she just keeps going. She hasn't, I haven't walked her because she was just knackered. So I thought, you know what, I'll leave it. <laughs> but she's got a little bloody tummy as well, which I mean, I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get halfway through the sprint and we're just going to see Brie jumping all over Becca like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I will say, like, I was concerned that she was unwell and then I came back home with my bacon sandwich and she was all up in my face and I was like, no, you're fine. Nothing wrong with you at all. <laughs> um, they're not friends, really. They don't hate <laughs> each other, but they're not friends. I can't they're imagine really I'm being impressed with anything. Maybe with time. No, I think we're just going to get to the point where they tolerate each other eventually, but she's still bouncing all around him, and he's still slapping her in the face, so... Standard. He's not scared of her though, still. He'll still just get on the floor just to piss her off. Or, um... I'm not going to change anytime soon. I've seen that he's like claimed her dog bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like he even, she was in the room the other day. She came in. He was here first to sleep and she came in and he was just defending the dog bed. <laughs> <laughs> just hitting her in the face. Irene is. I bet if you actually bought him a bed, he would not use it. No, because like I don't buy him anything because he doesn't use anything. He's awkward. But he wants breathe bed. <laughs> to be honest, I was sat there earlier and it's nice. It's comfortable. <laughs> Gee, what does your hoodie say? Oh, it says, um, my head hurts, but I'm being very brave about it. <laughs> Is that like a custom one or did you just buy it? Like from a shop? Um, it's like a shop that specifies on like pain slogans. Yeah. <laughs> I also got a um, a beanie that says "Certified Tired Girl." Just, <laughs> I mean, if you got it, it just at least have fun with it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I saw it on your Instagram, and I was like, it looks very specific, so I don't know if it's something that somebody got you. That's like yeah, it's a bit of a niche audience, but. <laughs> I want the certified tired girl one for when I've got like chronic fatigue flare-ups. <laughs> Just walk around with it being like badge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the thing. Brie doesn't mind Hamilton at all. It's just she wants to play with him and she's a big bouncy Labrador and he, he's just not about that life. Pretty much. I think he thought that she was going to leave eventually but she's still here. <laughs> He's still oh, he's actually um he's coming in now and she's asleep, so we'll see if we can tiptoe around her or whether she wakes up. He's making <laughs> straight for the bed. 
Oh, yeah, I have like a similar situation minus the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's I just think... like so, so gone. Oh, hi. Claim the yellow cushion. <laughs> I don't know where my laptop's going now, but all right. <laughs> Who cares about your laptop when we can look at how many books? I mean, I think he's had enough of people looking at It's an expensive book. It's all going to be in. It is. Okay, yeah. Like, I, I have nowhere to put my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> put this over here. Um, I do have a second book in case we roll doubles on the dice sprints, but oh, yeah. um, if we don't, then I'm just going to power through as much of Assassin's Fate as I can today, I think. I don't have a second book, so, well, I do. I've got, like, four on the go, but I'm not going to stop. Ham does give two shits with that entrance. <laughs> This is what I mean, like, normally, you if he was scared of her, he wouldn't have come in the room and just, like, sat down if, if he was bothered, but he's not. <laughs> Until she wakes up, and then they'll both be pissy. Um, oh, I just remembered that the dice, I put the cushion on top of the dice so that Bree didn't steal the dice, and now the cat's on the cushion, so I can't get them. <laughs> oh, damn. He's fully having his like princess in the pea moment. <laughs> Can you feel the dice underneath the pillow? <laughs> There's something else. Oh, the remotes for the TV are under here as well. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we'll go up quarter class, so I'll do a roll. Oh, not bad. 30 minutes to start as well. Good. Hey, I'm glad that these are arriving now. I panicked because with the um, strikes and the delays, they were supposed to start arriving in the UK on Wednesday and not a single item arrived out of 170. And I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> but then they all started turning up on Thursday. No, Friday, because Thursday was a strike. Uh, sort out a timer. We're doing the kitty one, which will just antagonize everyone. <laughs> oh, I need to do a vlog update, so I'll be looking down off camera. Uh, I'm going to go um, refill my water, I think, to start us off. I have so many drinks around me because when I'm hungover, sometimes I just need something fizzy. So I'll have this for the fizz but then water for the hydration. And I'm like, do I need a hot drink just to make me feel nice? I usually have, like, three on the go. I've always got, like, coffee or tea, fizzy, and then water. <laughs> My dad used to always comment on it, and it was just like, why do you need three different drinks? And I'm like, for three different purposes, clearly. <laughs> My dad has two cups of coffee in the morning, a cup of tea with his lunch, a cup of tea with his dinner. That's it. Whereas I always have drinks around me and he just has drinks at set times, unless he's like out working in the garden and then he'll like make himself an orange or a black currant or something. But aside from that, like he doesn't just have a drink with him. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, Dawn, my Patreon Discord last night was an experience. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you post on Instagram stories, then you posted on Twitter, and I was like, oh, with that level of drunk, are you posted on me? <laughs> I so drunk. Went into your Discord, and I was like, oh, oh, honey. <laughs> you know, it's been a while since I've been that drunk. Well, I was at the point of drunk where, like, I could have been sick at some point, but I got to the point where I was like, I feel a bit sick, and then I pulled back a bit and then carried on drinking. I was like, oh, no, I feel a bit sick. <laughs> Repeatedly throughout the night. So yeah, it was that level of drunk where like it was nearly to the level where we were throwing up, but I pulled myself back each time. <laughs> were you celebrating no. something? It was my dad's wedding yesterday. Oh, nice. Yeah. So um we went out at eleven, he got married at twelve, and then um the reception was a garden party at his house. He's got like a really big front garden. Um mm. and I got home at midnight. Everybody, no, everybody else left at about six. So because I was still there, I was on cleanup. 
and like picking up all of the like cups and things. Fun. Side of six in the morning or anything. <laughs> everyone kind of left. Like people were like you know dispersing, and then everyone kind of left at once. Like everyone that was still there, apart from two neighbors, me and Curtis. So then we were cleaning up and stuff, but still drinking. And then we sat down and carried on drinking afterwards. And then more neighbours just turned up and was like, oh, we came back and we brought our own wine. <laughs> they stayed for a bit. Um, and then we ended up in the house. And then eventually my new stepmother just fell asleep on the sofa. So we left. Yeah. But I don't think their wedding night was too, you know, like, exciting. <laughs> he was like gone by the time I left. Spent a lot of time. I spent a lot of time escorting her to the bathroom and picking her up off the floor. Throughout like, the last few hours, I was there. No, there was plenty. I didn't need to drink leftover drinks. I didn't reach that level. <laughs> <laughs> but the amount of um, alcohol that my dad bought, because I went a couple of days ago to help them set up, I don't know how many it was like. He was expecting 3,000 people to turn up the amount of alcohol they had. <laughs> They've still got like 12 t- untouched crates of beer. Wow. <laughs> like, and they bought all different brands as well. Like, it was a brand for everyone. So, when we left, my dad was, because Curtis couldn't drive, he said, just go pick yourself a crate of beer and take it with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got um, a crate of Bud Light in the, um, in the kitchen now. I will pass on your congratulations, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Probably not. I mean, let's be real. They've been living together for most of this year, so. <laughs> right. Let me share my screen so that we can sprint. And I can try and pull my life together a bit more. <laughs> Only a little bit. Just, just a little bit. I mean, it's never together fully anyway, so. <laughs> I will see you all in 30 minutes.
Which I was told she did not like. I was very confused. Like, I swear that still said we had five minutes. No, that was the um. It's got so it's got like an automatic break timer built into oh, it. Okay. Which I haven't said. Right, I'm gonna stop it. <laughs> As Em said, my soul left my body. <laughs> I was still doing a vlog update, so it's going to be on my camera too. I think something's yeah. wrong with my Wi Fi because everything sounds super weird. Oh, no. Yeah. Let me just restart. Yeah, that absolutely just shut me up. I did not know that was going to be. I'm um, used to the cat now. It used to scare me, but I'm, I'm fine now. Well, I'm going to mute myself and finish off the vlog update. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I've been talking for a while. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hello, everybody. You're welcome. How did we all do? got some good progress. I don't know how much I read. I went upstairs and sorted my life out a bit. Bree, are you all right? You just look so... You mean, this? you know, there we go. Um, She's just very unsettled today. But she seems to be all right. She's not sick or anything, so that's good, I guess. Um, Yeah, I read five pages. And I went and brushed my teeth again because like I did brush them this morning but you know when you're hungover and you just feel a bit grim I was in that situation hello I'm back hey oh scary me I need to do this because I didn't see it <laughs> I don't know how much I jumped <laughs> there was like a solid few few seconds follow following that of me just like staring at the camera really confused <laughs> <laughs> oh dear <laughs> Cleo said it's weird watching your mouth move while I talk I did wonder who would be watching me do my update so I didn't turn the camera off <laughs> I hope nobody heard that fart that Bree did it was quite loud <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can actually read it the next one now that I've done that. Clearly, I had a lot to update on. <laughs> Is it better? No. Damn. <laughs> How is it weird? What's what's it doing? Cool story. <laughs> <laughs> you were ignored. I'm gonna guess it's just not working. <laughs> oh, there she goes again. What's the book that you're doing the vlog update on? Me? Yeah. Well, I was given an update on this since I'm now 200 pages in. Uh -huh. And then I also did some spooky season book buying. So there was like seven books. Uh -huh. I was giving synopses for. <laughs> and also like telling the story because I... So basically this weekend I went book shopping yesterday. I didn't end up buying any books. Like I just didn't end up... <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Caitlin is a menace. I've not done this for a while, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, so went book shopping yesterday. I didn't end up buying any books. And then today on my way home, I was like nearby a bookshop. So I just decided to pop in and see if there was anything there. And the bookseller was just like recommendations. And I ended up buying them all. So <laughs> Better? Yeah, I had to opt in and out I don't know what everything was just robots everywhere <laughs> uh, went book shopping and didn't buy books I don't understand I know I did though so, yeah, I read I, 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 
Mm. That happened to me too, though. I think I was like super in a book shopping mood one day, and then by the time I actually got to the bookstore, I was like, I'm actually too tired to like read synopsis. <laughs> I just <laughs> walked around, you know, got the atmosphere and went away. <laughs> I feel that. I think as well, it's because I keep wanting to get like spooky season books, but I need to actually read mm -hmm. the spooky season books I've got to figure out what it is I like. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, I'd love to go and buy spooky season books, but I don't read them all in spooky season. So, like, I don't, I don't want too many. Yeah, I, I have too many, As, especially since I'm not like I'm still getting back into reading. So I'm just like, I'll just buy all the books instead. <laughs> that's that's the sort of Um. I learned how to not buy books at the bookstore when I was a broke student. Um, I tried to go book shopping a couple of weeks ago, but Waterstones has nothing in, so. Mm. I'm still waiting. Do you know that massive order that we both placed one? Mm -hmm. I still only have three books from that. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was only missing one, but I cannot remember for the life of me which one it was now. I need Gavin to check. <laughs> I um, it was all of my indies haven't arrived, which I understand because it's like it takes ten days to order in or like three weeks yeah. to order in. I'm like, but it's been two and a half months. <laughs> oh, it was the one that you keep saying. Um, oh, it's a fairy romance thing. Savage Lands. That one, yeah. Yeah, well, I really like that series and I want to continue, but I ordered books three to six from Waterstones and they haven't sent me any of them, so I guess I'll just wait. Yeah, I haven't got book one yet. <laughs> oh my god, you need to read um, Her Soul's Take. Okay. That is so good. Did you watch, did you, not watch, did you read Hush Hush back in the day? Yes. Did you fancy Patch? Probably. Yeah, and you'll like Her Soul's Take. It's like, it has those nostalgia, like paranormal romance vibes in the setting and the atmosphere, but like, it's really smelly. The guy's a demon. Oh, I think I saw your Goodreads update, which was just like Hush Hush and Twilight, but small. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's how easily I'm sold. I, I shall add it. It's really good. The plot's decent as well, and it's a trilogy, and every um, book follows a different couple where the guys are all demons. I was say, I like the cover. <laughs> And he's got like a forked tongue and like claws and sharp teeth. He hot. <laughs> Everyone loved Patch. Patch was everyone's dream man in like 2010. <laughs> I never continued the Hushra series, but I do remember reading and loving the first one. Yeah, no, I read it all. Book three was stupid because book three has an amnesia trope. So, oh. like, everything from book one and two is just repeated in book three because the main character has amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't hear anything again. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I think I'm just going to go. Sorry, I don't think anything's working on my end. <laughs> Um, I don't know what it is, but it better sort itself out because this is our new internet and we cancelled our previous one, so having a crisis currently. Oh god. But I no. actually can hear no. you. I don't know if you can hear me, so I might also just be a robot. <laughs> um, okay, I can see the thumbs up, but everything is just like, beep, boop, beep, boop. <laughs> I'm gonna go see what's up but um have fun sorry that i couldn't stay for longer <laughs> bye oh that's so strange that like she was perfectly fine on our end yeah and she just couldn't hear us yeah i think i've had that before but i don't know what fixed it it'll just be settings and stuff because it's like a new thing. I know that StreamYard's quite fiddly when it comes to permissions and shit. Mm hmm Something.
Oh, okay. There is more plot to the third book in Hush Hush than Amnesia. So then it's just Patch being like, so this happened two months ago and then three months ago. <laughs> this, and like, I met you like six months ago. And it's like, yeah, no, I've just read the first two books. <laughs> Oh, what a throwback. Good time, though. I like those books. I can't remember when it was I would have read that. In fact, I wonder if it's on Goodreads. I think I was like 19, maybe. I'm always just like, was it pre booktube days? It definitely must have been. I don't mind a little recap, but this was the entire book. <laughs> well, they could have just, if they'd have cut that book out, it would have made no difference. Okay, I read it in 2014, so I would have been 16. Wow. I read it at four stars. Test. Yeah. I, I feel this. I did finish the series and book four was fine again, but book three was just not good. Oh, I didn't need to see the thing saying that was eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I need to wake my sister up now. Last night for her was similar to Becca's. <laughs> Your poor sister. I love that the the only update I put on that book was didn't expect to myself to like this book as much as I have. <laughs> I think at that point was when I was just like, I don't like romance ever. And then read Hush Hush and clearly disagreed. <laughs> I don't even know which one of us laughed. But my brain is just not processing information very well. So like I'm living in this one second. <laughs> no recollection of anything that comes before and I have no plans <laughs> I was reading Dark Shit as a teen. Twilight was very dark for 13 year old me. Okay. I remember so clearly reading that book in school because we had homework for English class where we had to read the first five chapters of a book and like recap them. Mm. And my book was Twilight. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> How old would I have been then? It must have been like 14 or something. Yes, Cara, I am hanging on to the <laughs> I'm actually not too bad. I just don't feel great. <laughs> but... Oh yeah, Robin Hobbs Farsi trilogy being turned into comics. Yes. With a little little baby. I mean truly. It's Dark Horse, and I don't love Dark Horse because they tend to just do adaptations of other things in comic form. Yeah. But um, I'll give it a go because it's Robin Hobb. All of like the Buffy comics and stuff, the old ones, uh, Dark Horse. Yeah. Oof, that's rough. I'm not doing much better. Not the child abuse books, no. Do you remember when they were a thing? My mum used to have them, so when I, like, gained her books, it was just, like, child abuse, child abuse. It was also the reason why I read uh, The Lovely Bones at the age of 13. Oh, yeah, I read it. Um, I was older than 13, but I've read The Lovely Bones. The fact that the main character is, like, literally on the first page, it's just like, I died when I was 13, and I was like, oh! <laughs> okay. Yep. I'm going to look at this when we start the next sprint because I want to see what I did. <laughs> yeah, image is my fave. I just can't get... I, there used to be so many comic series that I was interested in and now I have all of those and I'm not seeing any new recommendations anywhere. So now I just go into the comic book shop and I'm like, I don't know which ones of these are good because I'm not hearing anyone talk about comics anymore. And if you don't tell me it's good, then I'm only going to get it if I like the art style, because I'm very fussy about art style.
Sorry, I'm trying to fix the window, so I'm good. <laughs> oh, Bree just tooted again. <laughs> She's like flat out asleep again now. Yesterday really took it out of her. You can tell that she's not like grown into her legs yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> they around everywhere. Awesome. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on her though because she's got a rash on her fanny again as well. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah. Little baby, baby. You got a little rash. Have you weed on yourself a bit? Oh no. Oh no. That's why I flipped her upside down at the end of that spread and I was like cradling her because she was like washing it and I was like, let's have a look then. But, um... oh, God, I don't like the art style on I Hate Fairyland. Cody might be coming in at some point. Oh, nice. I don't even know where my phone is. Though. Hamilton! <laughs> Guess who's not asleep anymore? Uh, oh, look at Rhea. <laughs> well, you didn't see Rhea. Yeah. <laughs> she looks very disgruntled. <laughs> She's so alert to like the, the look of confusion. <laughs> oh, here we go. She's coming. She stopped for a stretch. Sort your ear out. <laughs> That's a sleepy bedtime here. Oh, the way she's so politely being like, friend. Yeah. Just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. But she doesn't learn. She still keeps coming to him. And like, he has actually hurt. Well, he made a yelp a couple of times and she still doesn't care. The way that you actually, like, it's a, a meme now for people to be, like, golden retriever and black cat energy. Yeah. <laughs> and you just basically have that. Yeah. <laughs> like, why did you do that to yourself? <laughs> Considering I'm more of a, a dog person, I definitely have black cat energy more than I have golden retriever energy. She's, um, she get up. <laughs> oh, dear. This is my favourite show. I have not, but I will look in. I've seen them, but I haven't. Oh, I've just ended. This one's good. Okay. It's one that, that was better than the live action Lion King movie. <laughs> 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 oh my god, Scar and Mufasa, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going to have to get, I put my dice over there because as soon as that last sprint started I put the dice on the sofa and then um, I turned around and Brie was eating them. <laughs> so I moved them over there. Um, so I'll have to get virtual. Oh, that's a nice email. Thank you. I think she got up just to piss them off and then went and sat back in the same place. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, oops. <laughs> I love that I just faded out of existence then. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's a double. Well, technically, I am swapping activity because I didn't read them last. Oh. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Don't want me here, just to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to pick up all of our. Is it demise? Is that demise? 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 It's demise. Isn't it? <laughs> demise. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Literally. Well, it'll be an hour. <laughs> oh, no. It's just already too much. Too much golden retriever energy. Too many Pisces in the room. I don't have golden retriever energy. You've got Pisces energy and you Pisces, the Pisces part. It's a very like golden Pisces retriever. Pisces full moon last night, bitches. <laughs> oh, no wonder I was so chaotically drunk. Yeah. 
I was dancing with her in a garden at night time. So, yeah. Um, Mercury retrograde, so. Wow. Emotions everywhere. <laughs> right. Let's sprint. I need to get up and get that book and I don't want it. <laughs> uh, you can do it just this sprint if you want. Hey, Caitlin. Oh, not another. This makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Pisces pulled through. <laughs> I'm gonna get coffee. Not that I need it. You, but... you need it. <laughs> no, but I have a cinnamon bun, and it just feels wrong to have a cinnamon bun without a hot drink. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh... Right. I'll see you in half an hour.
<laughs> the way I did a stall. <laughs> oh, God. That meow is obscenely loud compared to the rest of my audio. <laughs> um, yeah, I went into another oh, reminder, wandered around in the last 10 minutes. And I needed to know how long was left of the sprint. So I came on and saw her here and I was like, if she's chewing on something. <laughs> my laptop charges like over the arm of the sofa, but no, she's just lying in being a good girl. Yeah. I did nothing but edit photos and that. Because <laughs> uh, I, I, I started eating the cinnamon bun and it was just like covered in sugar. So I didn't want to get my grubby mitts all over the book. So. I'm going to need you to come to my house and eat all of the cake I've got because I've got loads of leftovers from the wedding. So I've got like a quarter of a homemade toffee cake, half of a blackcurrant sponge, a ton of mini Battenbergs, Bakewell tarts, French, French fancies. And I'm like, how am I going to eat all of this? I don't eat a lot of sweet stuff anymore. To be fair, I don't eat that much cake. I do like a cake, but we've got like French fancies. Luckily, Curtis likes them because otherwise they'd just stay there forever because it's just too much icing. Yeah. Do I not get to sit here anymore? Okay. <laughs> I would actually be more concerned about her except when Hamilton comes in, she perks up like she was jumping up at him earlier, so. Yeah. You got poorly told me. It's what you get for stealing sandwiches. <laughs> oh what a Sunday mood though <laughs> she's normally like this on a Sunday because um, I sit in here with her for most of the day so she gets to a point where she just sleeps all afternoon I would travel across the globe for that cake <laughs> surprisingly you didn't give me any wedding cake so I haven't had any of the actual wedding cake and they had three as well they had like a normal joint fruit one Wow. Um, a chocolate one and a vanilla they also had a gluten-free selection. I mean, he was prepared to, you know, provide alcohol for 3000 so I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, my, and the sandwiches were so good because there was, like, ham sandwiches, but um, the neighbour made all of the food and, like, some of the cakes and stuff. And she'd cooked, like, a joint of ham and then sliced it for the stuff. So it wasn't, like, processed ham. It was, like, ham-ham. It was a good time. She's just like, don't talk about those sandwiches. <laughs> I love a sandwich. Eat. To be fair, I was peeling the ham off the bread and giving her just the ham because she hadn't eaten because she's car sick. Um, but then she just was like, no, I want the bread as well and just snatched it and ran off. So. I would also steal bread. Maybe that's why she feels queasy. She thought she was eating a brother. <laughs> this is a mood. <laughs> I was ready to go this morning when I woke up, but I can't. I don't sleep very well when I've drank. So, like, when I woke up at half eight, I wasn't going back to sleep. <laughs> um, I didn't actually read very much so so far in these sprints I've read five pages of Assassin's Fate and six pages of this <laughs> and it's still more than I've done <laughs> love that oh my god it. this is Rebecca Hamilton Rebecca wow <laughs> she just spotted said Hamilton by any chance yeah, you just come in. <laughs> Look at how little those twitches. <laughs> you need to come and see her. Hello. I was gonna mention about coming down in September, and then September has already arrived, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, fine. What's going on? If you're gonna jump, don't jump off my laptop. She's absolutely going to jump over the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> that is the rule of all of these things. Yeah, that's why I'm not too concerned about her because she is being um, a little bit more energetic when it comes to ham. But in that sprint, she got down on the floor and started chewing on one of her toys, but it was so half-hearted. She just had it hanging out of her mouth and was just, like, biting it occasionally. 
oh, the one above that, I finished Song of Achilles, I may never be happy again. <laughs> Oh, no. what? Poor baby. <laughs> I feel like Danny. I also want the rain back. Mm. Yeah, I'm really hot as well because I've still got alcohol in my system. <laughs> so I just I need some cool weather, please. <laughs> The weather was really nice yesterday, though. It was forecast as raining all day. when it was really sunny after, like, midday. Mm. I, um, while I was out and about yesterday, I could overhear people being, like, basically saying that they wanted, they were happy the sun was back. And, you know, after a few days of rain, we're going to get, like, another little summer thing that they were excited for. And I was just like, no. <laughs> I went to my nail appoint appointment, and it was just me and my nail artist being, like, as fog and cold days. <laughs> I don't, I like the sun, but like as long as it's not really, really hot, it'll be all right. I want fog. I've decided fog is like my favorite. <sighs> not a fan, not a fan of the fog. We do love a thunderstorm though. No, wait, yes, yes. <laughs> I wish she was this calm all the time. I was going to say, this is probably the calmest I've ever seen her. This is the calmest she's ever been because she's not feeling very well. <laughs> I'm just hoping that she's not going to end up with loads of energy tonight. Like, perk up tomorrow, but don't give me a night of terror. Probably will. <laughs> get back, son, get back. <laughs> Uh, we will be sprinting for around another three hours. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be sprinting all day because as soon as these ones are done, well, not as soon as, but like a couple hours later, I'll be back on the Patreon. So. Right. Um, I can have my seat back. <laughs> Get it quick. Sometimes they get Hamilton and Brie get to the point in the chase where they both run into the kitchen, but it starts with her chasing him, and by the time they get to the kitchen door, he's chasing her. Um, Maddie is fine. She just doesn't have time to commit to BookTube anymore, so she doesn't really... I think she said that she'll still upload if she wants to and stuff, but not as like a thing that she constantly does because she just doesn't have the time to upkeep it, and she makes herself feel bad about it. Yeah, I know she's just recently moved to London as well, and she also recently visited um, India and um, Christy in Edinburgh. So yeah, so I, I spoke to Christy after the fine print live show, and I'm pretty sure she posted in a blog soon, which is from when Maddie and her and India went to Edinburgh. So it was at the Babel event that I went to. Yeah. So, Whole Ash weekend. <laughs> God knows what I'm doing tonight, but it'll probably be lying down. Oh, watching episode three of House of the Dragon, actually. Do you know what day House of the Dragon is on? Because I've just started catching up with like the three episodes that have passed, but I want to put it into my schedule so that I watch it on the day that it's on. Monday. Okay, cool. Oh, that's good, because then we can watch episode four tomorrow. Or maybe Tuesday, depends if we watch... Mm. Anyway, it means I can watch it soon. <laughs> oh, Sundays. Does that mean it's Monday for us? Yeah, it's like 5am for us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, yeah, I can watch it on Monday. Good. <laughs> I'm just, like, bookending my weeks now because it's, like, House of the Dragon on Monday, Rings of Power on Friday. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to watch Rings of Power when we've caught up with... um. Oh my god, House of the Dragon. House of the Dragon. Curtis did that thing. You know, you know Curtis. You know the thing that he does where he's like, oh, I'm not that bothered. I don't want to watch it. And then he watched one episode and was obsessed again. <laughs> I like, don't know why you were so reluctant. You know that you like Game of Thrones. Like, I only watched Game of Thrones because of you. Yeah. I actually am enjoying this more than, like, the latest seasons of Game of Thrones, which were a dream wreck. But, like, in terms of the characters and how complex they are mm. and also i find it really interesting that we, we we see a king who isn't just outright awful 
like he's actually pretty decent and I'm like this is strange for Game of Thrones <laughs> yeah I haven't read um the the book either is it Flame and something what's it called is it Fire and Blood because I don't yeah, know what Fire and Blood. um so like I don't know what's because I like Damon but mm. he feels like the bad guy and I'm like but everyone in Game of Thrones is gray, like morally gray so I'm, I'm assuming it's okay that I like him but then I like the girl as well, and she's obviously like on. I only watched her episode. She's on like a different side to him, and then like, well, I don't want you two to fight because I like both of you. I reckon there's gonna be incest at some point with him too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like I got that vibe from the first episode, and like it feels weird, but also Targaryens, you know, they're all incesty. I was looking up like because I look up the characters, and like it'll tell you their family trees. And I was getting really interested because the um the queen is technically an Aryan, but she's clearly a Targaryen. But because her mother was a Targaryen that married an Aryan, it makes her one, but she's not. Obviously, she's a Targ. Me too. And I'm currently re-watching Doctor Who, and we've just got to the point in Doctor Who where David Tennant's regenerated into Matt Smith, and Curtis has never seen it before. So we got to the point where we regenerated, and I was like, this is great, because now we're going to go into House of the Dragon, and then we're going to come back, because obviously in Doctor Who, he's like the whimsical Doctor, which is very different to his character in Game of Thrones. It shows how good of an actor is, though, like seeing him in House of the Dragon, because I was like, Matt Smith? And then I see it, and I'm like, oh, this is a good character. <laughs> in the illustration for Damon as well, and he's really hot. So I'm like, Matt Smith's an interesting one, though, because I don't actually find him attractive. But, like, mm. he's one of those, like, in Doctor Who, you eventually get to the point where you do find him attractive, even though, like, just looking at him, you wouldn't. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, David Tennant is my favourite Doctor. I love David Tennant. He's the one who I think of because it's like my dad would watch Doctor Who when I was younger, so like mm -hmm. he was the one on the TV all the time. Yeah. I looked um, up a ranking of all of the Doctors and David Tennant was below Peter Capaldi, which just blew my mind because I stopped watching Doctor Who because I didn't really like Peter Capaldi. So I just don't understand what happens in the seasons that I didn't watch. Um, yeah. But then I don't understand how they can say that David Tennant isn't the best Doctor when he's the one that they bring back every 10th anniversary to be the Doctor. <laughs> And I'm like, well, he's clearly the best one then, if all the only one who's available. But I would say the best. Because, like, you'd come back for a 10th anniversary special, wouldn't you, for Doctor Who? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know he was in The Crown. Who is, who is he in The Crown? Amelia Pond is my favourite companion. You know what? I keep getting the random urge to rewatch. Merlin. He's villain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. the baby version of him. David Tennant's such like a sad boy emo doctor as well. Mm. Love it. I never watched Merlin. It was another thing that my dad would always have on. So I just like, I haven't watched it all the way through or anything, but I've seen a lot of the episodes. I know that the only reason why I'd really want to watch it is because um, Anthony Head plays, is it Uther Pendragon? Mm -hmm. I use in Buffy. Mm -hmm. And I obviously love him. But then it's weird because like I've never really seen him in much else apart from Buffy. So like I don't know if I could. Just the thing between Merlin and Arthur is. <laughs> love it it kind of reminds me of the fits in the fool dynamic a little bit oh my god my babies because it's like they bicker all the way through but it's just like are they gay though <laughs> <sighs> young prince philip was a piece of work so matt smith did awesome on him i mean i'm not surprised Yeah, I also love um, Eccleston, but he was only around for one season, so everyone forgets about him, which is sad, because he's from Manchester as well. That is the end of the break. I was just like, that was really loud, I thought the break was <laughs> um.
Oh, Just Brie, please stop farting. <laughs> Um, okay, let's do a roll then. Which is, I'm once again trying to remember what, there we go, that one. I'm not very good with these buttons today. <laughs> oh, oh. 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 <laughs> wow. Yeah. Damn. Damn indeed. I mean, at least I can go back to Assassin's Fate, and that's a good length for Assassin's Fate. Um, <laughs> Stop making me remember how much I fancy Matt Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of these dice immediately. Oh, my thing at the minute, so I'm watching Gilmore Girls for the first time. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Why do I fancy Luke? <laughs> oh, no, Luke's hot. I'm just like, hello. <laughs> And I feel like all of the guys in Gilmore Girls are hot, but now, like, if I watched it now, I'm kind of a bit too old to fancy them. But, like, um, what's he called? Chad Michael Murray is in Gilmore Girls. Mm. Yeah, Luke is hot. Luke is daddy. He always reminds me, when I think of the guy who I think is called Luke again, do you know in Mortal Instruments? The werewolf guy, he's called Luke, isn't he? I think of Luke from Gilmore Girls when I read the Mortal Instruments. Luke is a moody sweet. I'm only six episodes in and I'm just like, if anything happens to Luke, I swear to God I'm going to write it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to watch Gilmore Girls because I have seen it, but more just like it's been on TV and I've seen odd episodes. So like, I don't know what any of like um rory's boyfriends i don't know what any of the character names are i just know the actors that play them so people will be like this one's my favorite and i just don't know who it is i don't know it's funny because every time i've said that i watch it for the first time people are just like which boyfriend are you up to and i'm just like the first one i'm only six episodes in. <laughs> luke is scruffy before it became a thing and he has the coffee it's just the the cynics of the Cynicism, I think. Cynicism. <laughs> yeah, that word. <laughs> like that's the sort of thing that I find funny. Where it's just like the dead yeah. unimpressed with the world situation. He's great. Um, Ash, I'm reading Assassin's Fair and Ashley's reading Secret History. Oh, uh, Supernatural. Jared Paladecki? Yeah. yeah. The grumpy to Lorelai's sunshine. Did I tell you I figured out why I, I don't like grumpy sunshine romances? No. It's because as a grumpy, I cannot fathom wanting to spend so much of your life with a sunshine. <laughs> just like, just can't. Like marrying a sunshine, sunshine energy 24 7. Sounds <laughs> I was about to say, I was just like, but every time you've compared us two to someone, <laughs> you also anyone, but I also don't live with you, so. Yeah, <laughs> like I see you for a maximum of like a week at a time, <laughs> it's fine. And by then you just like, shut up. <laughs> just like, can't cope. I now understand oh. the whole, um, the, the Witcher, com like, comparison now though. Yeah, Dandelion and Girl, it's, it's facts. Big fun. Although... I need to continue watching season two currently because I hate everyone because they were mean to him. Mm. And I was just like, that, that's not. He takes his top off in season two and he's actually ripped. Like, it's a surprise. He's got a six pack. But he took his top off and me and Curtis were like, what? <laughs> well, <laughs> I need to get around to watching that quicker. <laughs> <laughs> I know I did sprints with Leanne recently and she was like, I don't understand how you can be bested with Ashley because she's a Pisces and has so much Pisces energy. And I'm like, well, yeah, but she also like is quite grumpy sometimes as well. And it's the grumpiness that grounds the sunshineness that is why we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's like some wildly cynical as well. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't remember. <laughs> I 
See, it's funny because I knew him as um, being from the Amazing Devil first. Yeah. And then I put two and two together and I was like, suddenly need to watch The Witcher. <laughs> I shall do some research. Um, yeah, I can't. That's the thing, because usually if you think of the whole, again, like Golden Retriever and Black Cat Energy thing, usually I'm the Black Cat Energy, but I think there's literally two or three people where that would swap to me being the Golden Retriever because they're more grumpy than I am. Yeah. In which case, me and Becca, I would be the, the Golden, <laughs> the golden Retriever. <laughs> but in every other situation, I'm the Black Cat. <laughs> I love this. I've become grumpier and grumpier every year we've been together. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I'm this is true. Friends. I feel like I'm the opposite. Yeah, yeah, because we always have the thing where everyone's like, oh my god, Ashley's so nice. And I'm like, no, she isn't. <laughs> <laughs> She's really not. <laughs> Oh or it's the thing where like if my face is just resting I genuinely look so pissed off at the world mm. but the second like you know someone talks to me I'm just like mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like my face just needs to be switched on first <laughs> I look grumpy but I'm sunshine <laughs> sunshine with shadow ooh I like that <laughs> Bree just farted again in case anyone's keeping a tally. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Let's do this epic one hour long sprint, shall we? Might actually read something. Wow. Imagine that. Well, you've got time. I might make tea now because my throat's sore from last night. So I'm like, no, we soup. I don't know that I'm hydrated. I'm going to put my own playlist on because self-indulgent. <laughs> Sounds good. Right. I'll see y'all in one hour.
Yo. No. How'd you do? <clears throat> um, I didn't read that many pages, to be honest, but I was, like, filming little bits and stuff as well, so it makes sense. I read, um, 16. Yeah, 16 pages. I had a cup of tea. And then went back and made a salad. Well, I didn't make a salad. I've got leftover salad from the wedding. So I just put chicken tikka and um, mozzarella in with it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, uh... Meanwhile, Monty's over here like, I read 90-ish pages. I read about 20. <laughs> <laughs> God. Mood. Aaron literally yesterday morning said, I'm going to take a break now before I read the Rainwild Chronicles. I think Aaron's read five Robin Hobb books this month. What? Yeah, she's just read the entire uh, Tony Man trilogy in a couple of days. That's just rude. Mm. Give me this energy. Um, no, she's determined to catch up before the live show. She got seven books left. Honestly, would not put it past her. I need this energy. Damn right. Okay. Oh, I love how productive it was being. Wish it could be me. <laughs> We're just here for the support. It doesn't have to be us. <laughs> I've given Bria like a treat bone kind of thing, you know, like a chewy one that takes her a while to get through. Mm. And like, she's just been flopping around sleeping all day, not really got much energy, but there's literally nothing wrong with her appetite. She'll still eat anything you put in front of her. <laughs> She's like half asleep, just chewing on this bone for like the last half an hour. Keeps wet. <laughs> Aaron only going to stop reading Hob when there's not more Hob to read. <laughs> oh, bacon and pancakes. Oh my god, but you only finished Fool's Fair, like four o'clock in the morning yesterday morning what I could have all the time in the world and I still would not read a full book in a day or something <laughs> like <laughs> no Bree sounds like me no energy but will eat anything <laughs> <sighs> I think I said it before but I am kind of the opposite where it's like if I have more time then I'll read less I'm just like, I'll just keep telling myself, oh, I've got time later. Yeah. So. Whereas if I've only got like a little bit of time, I'm just like, I either read now or I don't. <laughs> like, I'll be sat here for five hours, not really reading much, but I know if it gets down to next Sunday and I haven't finished and I've got 200 pages left, I'll finish the book in five hours. Mm -hmm. I sleep. <laughs> Nice. Oh yeah. Got some house of earth and blood. Oh. Oh, yeah. My fave. So it's some scenes with my boyfriend. Get your boyfriend to sew his own scenes on his raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very like specific task. <laughs> I should yeah, be it take me a long time. Yeah. Hello. Hi, folks. Hi. Hello. How you doing? All right. Well, I'm a bit rough, but yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Nothing. Nothing really to add. <laughs> <laughs> What are you reading? Mm. I need y'all to like 
get me to read um, Assassin's Fate because I'm scared and I really need to read it. <laughs> well, like I said to Ashley earlier, I'm 300 pages in and it's not sad yet. So, okay, that bodes well. That bodes well. <sighs> Lots of hellos, Chloe. Hello, folks. These are um, very low energy sprints today. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I have like no energy. I spent all day yesterday faffing about with shelves and like I overdid it. I'm too old to be moving books around all day. I just took me out. <laughs> Parables of a bookworm. <laughs> what, you just having a rearrange? Mm, I got new bookcases and um, I made a I made a spooky bookcase, which is fun. Nice. Yeah, inspired by Ashley's. <laughs> yeah, see, if I've got something else that I'm avoiding that I'm more likely to read. True, but when I'm supposed to be reading, I do things to avoid reading. Mm-hmm. Like that salad that I just made, which is probably going to give me heartburn because of the lettuce and the hangover. That's a very specific. Uh... <laughs> well, weirdly, one of the foods that gives me heartburn is lettuce. Hmm. Doesn't make a lot of sense because it's mainly water. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so because I'm more likely to have heartburn because of alcohol, then I feel like the lettuce was just a bad idea. <laughs> Ellen wants to see the shelves. Um, let me see if I can. Like I can't. Mm, hang on. <laughs> How do I show? Can you see? Oh can you my! See the spooky. There's pumpkins and stuff on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I like Colors it. And things. I'll send. I'll send a proper picture in the group chat for y'all to see. <laughs> I'll stop it, Monty. <laughs> I love Taylor. The fuck eats a salad when they're hungover. <laughs> right, I had yeah. a mushroom sandwich this morning, and the salad was left over, and it meant that I didn't have to make anything. I could just put the salad into a bowl and then put cheese on it, and then it was done. Imagine <laughs> being so weak that less could show up. Beat by a water leaf. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Wow. I'm already weak. I told y'all to be gentle with me. <laughs> be gentle. We can't be any more gentle than less, I'm afraid. <laughs> no, this is one of the mixing bowl salads from my dad's wedding yesterday. <laughs> How was it, by the way? Did you have a fun time? You looked beau. I saw the dress on Instagram. Um, yeah, I had a good time. Got very drunk. Too good of a uh, time. <laughs> yeah, maybe a bit too good. So now I'm a bit rough. I'm not too bad. I don't have a headache or anything. I don't feel sick, but I just feel a bit weak and tired. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I've noticed my heartburn's been coming because I drink a lot more water than I used to. So my heartburn's been coming back a little bit. I used to have it all the time. And then it just disappeared, so I don't really know what was causing it. It bacon as well. It was bacon and mushroom. Yeah, mushroom on its own would be very strange. Yeah. But mushrooms are a normal breakfast item. Yeah. Yeah. Brown sauce as well. It was good. Mm. Brown sauce can I go? Gentle kick me in. Oh. <laughs> uh. Too much apple juice at once. <laughs> that one I can like believe though. Mm -hmm. Apple juice could be strong. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you're so fragile, a soggy lettuce leaf is not. Look, I'm trying. All right. <laughs> you made it to the sprint just about, so <laughs> I know. I'll give you that much. Yeah, I felt all right when I woke up and then I couldn't tell whether I was still a bit drunk. And then I started feeling a bit peaky at about midday. Yeah. But I'm feeling all right again now. I do love just like a fried mushroom. Mm. 
Is it weird that I like raw mushrooms? That's weird, right? It is a bit weird. I do sometimes have a nibble on a, on a raw mushroom, but the texture puts me off. Mm. <laughs> this sounds like a British thing, very much so. I'm guessing it is. I mean, you all put syrup on bacon, so like, I don't know how oh. much it's weird. <laughs> syrup on bacon is the best, though. So good. It is I nice. Like it. In the mood. I don't like actively dislike it, but I also can't get behind it. I like it kind of when the bacon has been cooked or whatever they do with the syrup, so it's like sweet mm -hmm. bacon. But I don't mm -hmm. like it when it's just bacon and then like wet syrup on top. Oh no, I do. Give me pancakes with bacon and eggs and maple syrup. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm. Yes, garlic mushrooms and egg on toast. Oh my god. Well, we have some some raw mushroom eaters here. Hey. You hear something weird? Massey's trying to put football boots on. Oh, and he's like, what football. It is. Yeah, and he's like, "Can you hear this?" <laughs> you know what? I can get behind a little bit of uncooked pasta. Like when I'm cooking my pasta, I always take out just like one piece for the crunch. I it's think I'd tip a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, like just a piece of spaghetti. It's just the satisfying, like, snapping of the pasta more than yeah. I wanted to eat the pasta. You guys okay? <laughs> <laughs> she really like putting oh. things in my mouth. I only found out recently that you're not supposed to eat raw potato because it's poisonous. Really? I oh. swear I used to eat raw potato when I was a kid when they were chopping yeah. up. My grandma used to chop them up to put them in the fryer. Yeah. yeah. How did you not know that? <laughs> they were poisonous because I was always given raw potato. Not like as a thing, but like if my mum was making chips, she'd be like, here's yeah. the potato. My dad eats yeah. raw potato as well. I really like it. Yeah. But I'm not just going to like eat a potato. It is like when I'm cutting up the potatoes or something else, mm -hmm. and I just eat a piece of potato. But um, in large quantities, it's, po it's poisonous. Oh. I should probably yeah. warn some family members. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got images of you like biting into a potato like an apple now. <laughs> mm. Potatoes. Oh my god, dropped a bag of dry pasta on the floor and it became a race between me and the lab to pick it up. He loved the crowd. <laughs> Northerners are built different. It's true. Um, <laughs> it's just it takes a lot to um, get rid of us because of the tolerance we've built up from doing things like eating poisonous raw potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you can't have like a meal of raw potatoes, but you can have like a little nibble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm not a fan of the raw potato skin. Like, I like a peeled raw potato. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you seen that tweet saying British people eat like a water still going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh my god, that is wow. That's intense. I have seen people just bite into raw onions and I'm like, I can What's wrong with a cold glass of milk? That's perfectly normal. Curtis drinks so much milk. This is very much a thing that a lot of men in the UK do, I've realized. <laughs> Why? But it's not like wildly uncommon okay bye enjoy your book he's reading Oathbringer on the bus to football Ew. he's finally got to Oathbringer I'm so happy it's like my favourite one <laughs> don't hurt yourself he'll hurt himself <laughs> oh that was my oh. that was 
the, the break timer. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit kind of look at. <laughs> Just trying to tell a questionable activity. Why? <laughs> I find it weird. Just drinking a glass of milk, but why? Yeah. I'm not a fan either. Massey does Massey does it though. Always very good um for the heartburn. Mm. Milk. Also, like if I've got like a sore throat, because milk's like not it's thick mm. or thicker than water, like I drink milk. I think I just get the ick though, because my ex used to do it all the time and torment me with it. Mm. Mm. So it gives me the ick now. <laughs> I love milk. Yeah, okay, ice in milk's weird. For me, mm. it's the watering down of the milk that the ice does that's just, no, thank you. Mm. Easily first sign of a serial killer. Um... What? Which one? <laughs> We've ingested so much milk as babies, it's just childish to continue <laughs> drinking it. <laughs> Tea. <laughs> I, mean, I feel, feel like a lot of us are serial killers in this chat. Mm -hmm. I feel like whenever I join the sprints with you, it's, we always end up talking about food and Massey's forgotten something. BRB. <laughs> <laughs> Literally Seriously? only if you're lactose intolerant, which not everybody is. Like, I challenge, I'll eat a block of cheese right now, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it explains why men drink it so much with the day's childish. <laughs> <laughs> right, let us... Oh roll something um how long we'd be going for i don't want another double though thank you <laughs> ah not well a bit small but we move 25. yeah i'm not a hot milk gal gets a bit sickly when it's warm i just saw yeah. um, someone say what was it Someone said one milk with sugar in it, and I'm like, Ugh. that's like something that you give to kids when they have a nightmare to put them back to sleep. But I've never been a fan. I don't even like if I make hot chocolate or anything, I don't make it with fully milk like some people do because it's just it makes me feel sick, like it's really heavy and it's a lot. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> is he okay <laughs> some people just choose violence in this world you better get it yourself <laughs> <laughs> that's one of those things where I'm just like I, it's, it's not nice at the best of times but when you've got a metaphor being literally afraid of throwing up why would you do that to yourself yeah mm. that doesn't sound like I don't have a phobia but like nobody wants to throw up like, it's not a nice time mm -mm. So the answer is boys are gross and kids are wild. <laughs> Which I think is fair. Oh, Bree's farted again. <sighs> Just having a day. Uh, how long was that sprint? It was 25 minutes, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, okay. I will see you all in 25.
Hello. Hello. I read a grand total of eight pages. I don't know. I was listening to the audiobook whilst making a sandwich. Uh, Breeze now, let's start again. Yeah. Little baby. I hope she feels better tomorrow. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, going getting brunch. Nice, nice, nice. Started making some much updated vlog. 76. 76? Hi. Oh, Rhapsodic. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, depending on how long the next one is, it might be the last one. We'll see. I'll probably leave before the next one because I'm getting a headache, so I'm going to know. Fair, fair. <laughs> I would also love to nap. Mm. A short book and page is a small, okay. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying Witchy. It's good. Wanted to start Fool's Errand instead reread the last chapter of Assassin's Quest because I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> That's fair. Nice. I'm glad everyone else is doing a lot of reading because I'm just truly not. <laughs> well, there is a lot of reading going on, isn't there? Uh -huh. <laughs> Back from hiking, also can't roll it. <laughs> Could never be me. Wow. <laughs> me too, Chelsea. Me too. Although I am <laughs> half asleep. And what is it about being like when you're hungover, mm -hmm. you want to eat and drink things, and then they make you feel better for about 10 minutes, and then you're like, no, I need to eat and drink more things. <laughs> yeah. like, can it last longer, please? <laughs> This is true. This is true. And I'm I'm doing better than Ellen, and I'm pretty sure Ellen has been here since we're on the first sprint, so. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to do the reading reading, but I just can't. <laughs> the focus is not there. Hmm. Um, Aaron likes pain. <laughs> the way it's taken us like two years to read them and Aaron's just like two weeks, yeah. <laughs> Not worthy. Yeah, see, I like pain. <laughs> Bree farted again for Beth who's keeping the tally. <laughs> My brain's been lagging since I woke up. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna dip on out and then for any of my patrons, I'll be back on later. Just still don't know what time, but I'll let you know. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah. For joining me. It is okay. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Now it's that time. So. <laughs> <Bye. Bye. laughs> and then there were two. Oh, it's a bit intense. <laughs> um, do you like paying on book binging? But <laughs> I know, Deb, but it had to be done because I'm behind. I was supposed to have read 50 pages a day since the beginning of the month, which would have had me finished on Saturday. And I'm just not really on that schedule because I should be like 600 pages in and I'm 300 pages in. So, yeah, it's 300 pages more than me. Fair, I know, but I feel like you read quite a bit quicker than me when you actually read. When yeah. I actually read, yeah, I might have to get a bath later because then, like, I have no excuse. If I'm in the bath, I have to, I have to read. <laughs> 
Monty, this is blasphemy. <laughs> Why not Cody doesn't? Um, yeah, I hate that book. <laughs> and I haven't read it, but I'm not enthusiastic about reading it. So. No. It is. And I'm going to have to check the Hello Fresh in the fridge and see what the dates are. Mm. If the dates are not today, then I might order them. Do it. We'll see. I very much just have a massive craving for, you know, the jalapeno bites from Burger King. Yeah. Really want them. And I'm like, Massey's out. So I could get them and just get them for myself because I don't want to share them. <laughs> Um, not only are we twinning, but the shelf looks like this. <laughs> oh my god, I love that for us! Wow, I love that all your hobs are as mi like mismatched as mine as well. I've made like a hob shelf, and it's yeah. just like five different versions. Of the book. When I put these up here, I didn't have as many hob books as I do, and now the entire center of the shelf is just hob. Mm. Um, where's Beth gone? There she is. Bath me too tonight. I've run out of bath bombs. I didn't anticipate wanting a bath tonight, but the hangover mm. version of me is like, yeah, bath. Mm. Well, no bath bombs. Yeah, all the spooky stuff's in Lush as well now. I need to get sure. myself down there and get some get some spooky spooky bath bombs. I'll go next weekend and restock. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, no, I just, nothing about her writing style in any of her books that I've read would lead me to believe that she could write one, but she thought she could. Yeah, she tried. <laughs> Tea. Mm. It's almost like you're on the same sofa. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I always go, like, every few months I go and restock all of my bath bums and then, because I don't, I mean, Cody's in the bath all the time. I'm not normally. Nope. I do, like, a bath a week at most. Mm. I tend to use bubble bars more than bath bums, though, so I have so many bath bums, but I'm always running out of bubble bars. Oh, my God. I've got six bubble bars right now. <laughs> because it takes so long to go through them that they last me forever and then like I'll get restocked at Christmas mm. or my birthday or like for the spooky stuff they'll probably be spooky ones I want so I've still got like a Christmas bubble bar because I'll buy like three Christmas bubble bars and then it takes me like three months to get through one yeah the book of night was bad yeah Yeah, I'm sad that they didn't continue on with the cover designs because I, my mm -hmm. favourite ones are the Tony Man ones that are the big paperbacks. Yeah, I've got one of those. I like the ones where the spine has like, I don't know which one, the Ship of Magic ones. Mm -hmm. They have like a compass design on the spines. They're a vibe. Oh, yeah, mine are mm -hmm. the... Yeah, I need to go back to um, what do you call it? The bookshop here. What's it Armchair. called? Armchair. Armchair. Yeah, and try and find some that'll actually match the rest. They do have a lot of hob there. So much. Every time there's always something. The bookshop that's near me has a full bookshelf of just like vintage fantasy and sci-fi stuff, nice. so, like the mass market paperbacks. And they actually have um, a mass market of the second Soldier Sun book at the minute. And I was going to pick it up, but then it was the second. So I was like, no, nah, I'll just I'll mm -hmm. wait until I have the first one. Mm -hmm. um, me too, mainly because obviously Live Ship and Live Ship is my favorite series at the minute. Mm -hmm. This might be my favorite hob book, though. Really? Ooh. Okay, interesting. As you get into it, like you'll see why. Okay. I'm excited. I mean, I'm scared, but I'm excited. Oh, yeah, the ones with the jewellery inside. Oh, wow. 
I've not heard of those. I am making a note. Charmed aroma. Okay. Yeah, they do earn candles as well. Nice. Bruce farted again. <laughs> I bet that's not helping the hangover. No, she um well, she came to the wedding yesterday. Oh, cute. And then she spent some time, she knocked over a vodka tonic and started lapping it up. She stole sandwiches off tables. <laughs> um, so she's eaten something that she hasn't enjoyed. So she's got like a sore tummy and she slept for most of today. Oh. But um, she's still got an appetite and she's playing a bit. So I'm not overly concerned. Mm. But I'm still a little bit concerned. So I'm just keeping an eye on her. Bless. Fart tally six. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited to see her in person. Like, it's well overdue. I'm so excited. Are you still planning on bringing her? Yeah, if I can drive with her by myself, it'll just mean mm. that I'll have to stop halfway instead of driving all the way through. Mm. Um, but yeah, I want to see what her behavior is like closer to the time because obviously she's still young and she's still a bit of a shit. Yeah. She's happy, to be the, happy to be the one that looks after her <laughs> when we're away. It'll, it'll, be great, her. it'll be a holiday for me. I'll be like, here guys here's a dog i'm very happy very happy yeah uh, farsi is still my favorite series royal assassin is still my favorite book farsi is still mine as well i think it's because it's nostalgic and i read it twice didn't i because i yeah. had to reread it for the read along yeah can't wait to smell those farts in real life <laughs> Can we have a Brie camera? I mean, you had one earlier when I was out of the room and she just jumped into my seat. I was upstairs watching the sprints like a nanny cam to see if she was chewing on anything. <laughs> uh. Ooh, reading Fire and Blood. I want to read that now because I've started watching House of the Dragon. Yeah, same. It's tempting, but also I'm still pissed. <laughs> And it reads like a textbook as well, which is putting me off because mm -hmm. I liked them. They're not like my favorite fantasies I've ever read, but also um similarly with House of a Dragon, I like it with stuff like that, I like watching the show first. Mm. And I think it makes me more enthusiastic to <clears throat> to slog through the slow bits. Mm. <coughs> Just choking on my own spit. <laughs> yeah, I think she might have, um, because obviously she was running around with the Rotties. She was out really late past her bedtime for one. And also, I don't know whether, like, one of the Rotties has, like, squashed her or knocked her over or something and, like, hurt one of her legs a little bit or something. Because she was, like, a little bit unsteady on her legs when she got up this morning and she has got a bit of diarrhea and very smelly farts. Oh, bless her. Bestie's reading Fire and Blood and eating it up. Mm. Yes, it is First Law and it has been not announced on Catch Up Book Club but I've mentioned it in my last vlog and also a couple of live shows. Mm -hmm. um, but we're not starting until January so you got time. The announcement will probably go up in December. I'm excited for that. Me too. I'm just worried because this is one of the ones that you, well, this is the only one that you haven't read. So, like, we don't know if any of us are going to like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we will. It's got enough of a fan base out there. People seem to really love them. Look, the last two weeks, she's not had diarrhea <laughs> at all. And I felt like we were getting somewhere. And I, God knows what she ate yesterday. It's probably just because she ate a lot of food that was human food. And also the vodka tonic probably didn't help. Yeah. Happy to not be playing at catch up this time around. <laughs> yeah. All vibes, no plot book. It's only the first book I believe that's all vibes, no plot. And then mm. the rest of the series I believe has a plot. Hmm. Nice. Oh, it definitely will do. Husband's favourite series is First Law. I mean, I've already done one, so don't look at me. Oh. 
I will never not be scared by that. I am getting more used to it now, though. <laughs> Genuinely thought it was Ham the first time I heard it. Yeah. It is quite similar to his meow, which is why it used to startle me so much, because mm. I thought I'd stood on him or something. <laughs> um, okay. Roll. Uh, let's see what we got. Nine forty-five. so that will indeed be the final sprint of the day. Voice. Um, can't decide if I should because I want to listen to the audiobook of it so I can get into it a bit more because I'm just a bit not now I don't really want to just read physically at the moment yeah but I can't decide if I should start crocheting again or do a jigsaw <laughs> it's like, Ooh. I'm not sure I still have half a jigsaw from when I went on my jigsaw kick and then I just stopped abruptly yeah. I was like, oh, listening to Jade, um, the Grimbo saga I haven't really listened to much of an audiobook since, so I haven't continued. Mm, I might jigsaw it. I feel like it's still a little bit too warm to be crocheting because, like, by the time. Yeah, it's all over your Yeah, it's a lot in it. Yeah. You nearly do. Mm. Although everyone is um, voting for crochet. Oh, next time. Next time we have sprints, I'll crochet. <laughs> I'm up to date on my blanket, so I can't knit until I read. Oh, yeah, I got to that point, and then I just started doing it for previous years. <laughs> <laughs> Crochet something small. She'll be done in, like, ten minutes. Or... Mm. I make a jumper for the cats. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> I need to find a pattern to do that. That would be cute. Yeah. Good luck trying to get one on tips. I know. And Bella's will have to be large to fit all of the floof in. All of the floof, yeah. When she had... Um, when she was done, she had she had to have one of those like I guess kind of like a, it looked like, like a baby grow. Yeah, her, it was hilarious so because good. like her face is so fluffy and her legs were so fluffy. She was like, yeah, so cute. Yeah, my dad's <laughs> just been spared. Well, not my dad. My dad's, <laughs> your dad's just been spared. Uh, in preparation for the wedding. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's just been spared and she had one of those on, but because she's such a big dog, it kept bunching up around her middle. <laughs> hey, I love that for you. Nice. Oh my god, my brother loves First Law, but he's the middle vomit guy, so I don't know if we should trust his dad. <laughs> I'm fair. <laughs> Um, okay, let me set the sprint up. Anyone wanting more sprints? I'm back on Tuesday daytime. Um, because I said I would do like a weekday daytime session throughout the month. I've set it for 10 a.m., but we'll see whether I stick to that time <laughs> a bit later. Yeah, that's a little bit ambitious. I think. Yeah, I mean it's a work day. Normally, I'm up at half seven, but sometimes if I have a rough day, it's more like quarter to nine. So, um, I say half seven when you set your own hours. Why would you? <laughs> dog, dog and cat. Yeah. Because if I get up at like quarter to nine, it means I only start work at eleven because I'm dicking about with the dog and like walking her and feeding her and all that stuff. Mm. Um, I was whelmed by the blade itself, so y'all will probably enjoy it. <laughs> oh god <laughs> rude <laughs> okay final sprint I will see y'all in 45 
Hello. Hey, hey. Um, I don't know when I started. Like, I don't know what page I started. I'm, I'm on page 330 now. Nice. I've made it 40 pages in, and you're right. This is going to be great. It is. <laughs> I'm excited now. It's a good time. It's um interesting. Hmm. But I'm have much to discuss it. probably on the live. Yeah. Oh my god, Aaron pointed something out mm -hmm. that um it's happened again. so like in one of the Tawny Man books, mm -hmm. Jack talks about Mal Malta and Althea. Mm -hmm. And she talks about them like the sisters. Like she refers to Malta as Althea's sister. Oh. And it happens in this book as well, where somebody refers to, I think, is it Wintrow as Althea's brother? Huh. Yeah. Where it's not been. Like, she's not caught it. Which is funny, because we always got confused about Althea, because she's young. Mm. So she's not that far away from, like, Wintrow and, um, like, Malta in age. Hmm. I got some progress in the chair. Congrats on finishing your book. I'm jealous. Oh, Lizzie's finished one as well. Nice. And Kiki. Jessica, where have you gone? Can't put Assassin's Fate down, which same, but also it's still slow progress. But I think that's a me thing with the, the focus. Hmm. Hoping to get a big chunk of it right tonight because I'm invested again. Yeah, I want to read a bit more tonight, but also I want to sleep. So yeah. Also, rap skull's a little shit, isn't he? Oh, babies. Yeah. Where are you going? It's like escape. <laughs> he didn't manage to escape, you know. <laughs> oh, she just sat down on one of the squeaky toys. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, but I'm also scared. Mm. It's like finishing a whole chapter in our lives because, like, it's taken up so much of our time. This series, I know. It's kind of impressive. I'm proud of us. I am proud of us for getting to the end. Me too. I didn't think we'd do it. Well, not that I thought that we wouldn't make it this far, but obviously it was intimidating when we started. Yeah. So good, though. It is. I wonder if it'll ever get adapted for TV or film. That'd be, that would be so good. I just want to yeah. see, um, like, Brushen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, we got somebody reading Akamath. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you're playing a dangerous game because you have live shows for the books, but now you're, like, five books ahead. Mm. Wow, imagine being five books ahead before a live show. Well, <laughs> like, never be me. Normally 200 pages behind. Yeah. The amount of times I've, like, speed read the last few chapters, like, an hour before yeah. the live. And the entire time I've been sprinting today, I've only read a chapter and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I even start? I don't know. I'm fine. I did start at the beginning of a chapter, at least. Yeah, 284. I was on an arm on 3.30, so I've read like 45 pages. Still good. Still setting. Aaron's usually reading the last page of the book as you hit and go left. I don't know because I don't know mm -hmm. how big the books are. I've got three of them. I've got one, three, and four, I think, and I know that four is chunky ish. Mm -hmm. But nowhere near as big as these ones. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe's only got 50 pages left. Wow. Wow. I mean, this is fair, Sophie. I'm doing well. 
Do you think you'll do sprints next weekend so we can all cry together? Oh, maybe if you want. That'd be good. I'm doing sprints on Tuesday and then I'll be doing Patreon sprints at some point in the week as well so we can maybe cry on those. That'd be good. It's a oh. collective cry. Or it'll be you and um, Ashley actually on track and crying and I'll be 50 pages behind like, what's happening? <laughs> <Why are you crying? laughs> <laughs> okay well thank you guys for joining me today um next public sprints will be tuesday daytime hopefully i'm gonna read some books because i'm struggling <laughs> you got this yeah maybe maybe someday soon oh, i was doing so well at the beginning of august and i tip it off again and i'm waiting for it to pick back up mm. But um, yeah, I'm going to go sleep and I'll see you all in a few days. Bye. Bye.